why? This is example number uh, 8.2. So we here are analyzing the impending motion or the possible motion of this bar respect to this wall and floor. So we have here a smooth wall and a rough floor which have a friction coefficient of 0 0.3. This is a static friction coefficient. And they are asking us if with that set, with this here being 10 feet, if that uh, bar moves. So the first thing that we are going to do is draw our free body diagram of the bar. We have that bar over here. And then we have the weight, which is in the center of the bar. So we already know that this distance will be equals to five because it's in the center of that bar. So this is the weight, which is 30 pounds. And then this is my active force. Then I have the reactive forces. I have a reactive forces. Let me name this bar here. This point is A and this point is B. So I will have a normal force at A and a normal force, remember that the normal are always perpendicular. So if I have this surface over here, the normal force will be perpendicular to my surface. In this case, will be perpendicular to this surface over here. And now I have the friction force. In which direction goes the friction force? So as you see, this bar that is right here, will, if it fails because of the weight, it will fail in this direction. So if the motion of A goes to the right, therefore the friction force, I'm going to call it FA, goes to the left. So now that we have our free body diagram, then we can apply our equations of equilibrium. I would add forces in X and I have negative FA plus the normal B is equals to zero. But those two are unknowns, so I need more equations. So I add forces in Y and I find that NA minus weight is equals to zero. The weight is known, it's 30, so in this case, we already can find NA is equals to 30 pounds. We take moment respect to one of the points. I can take moment respect to A or B, and then I have, I have to find this height. Since this is 10 and this is 26, I can find the height, right? The height will be, I know that 26 squared, then squared plus height squared, therefore the height will be equals to 26 squared minus 10 squared, 24 feet, and then I have that moment at A will be equals to negative H, which is 24 times N, B, plus five times 30, equals to zero. From here, I can get NB, so from here I already got NA, NB will be 5 times 30 divided by 24, NB is equals to 6.25 pounds, and with NB I can get NFA, and FA is equals to NB, which is also 6 for 20 pounds. Okay, now that we have all my reacted forces, so I was able to find this one, to find this one, and to find this one. What is the analysis that I have to do in order to see if that was able to move? I have to compare this friction force with the maximum friction force that you can reach before the impending motion, or at impending motion, before you reach to uh, go to dynamics so the bar start moving. So I have to calculate how much is the maximum possible friction for at A, right? That will be my friction coefficient times Na. This is 0 0.3 times Na that I already found that is 3. And that gives me 9 pounds. Therefore, 
this force over here, which is 6.25 pounds, is less than the maximum possible force that I can reach before I lose equilibrium, and that's 9 pounds. Therefore, I can say that bar stays in equilibrium. So it would be nice to do the analysis of what happened if I change the configuration. And so my next question will be, if I have the same bar, right here, right? But I don't know, I want to see what would be the distance D the maximum distance so I lose equilibrium so D to reach impending motion so what we do is do our free body diagram again The free body diagram will be similar to that, just only the dimensions change. Let me draw it again. In this case, again, I have my normal force. I have my friction force. I have my normal force over here. I do not know this distance, but I know that my weight is located at the half, I know the total distance of the bar, so this is the weight, and of course now I do not know this angle, theta. The equations of equilibrium will be very similar, so let's do forces in x, right? The difference here is that since we want to have the impending function, we will force that the friction force A is equal to the maximum friction force. And we already calculated the maximum friction force, which is 9 pounds. So from here, we can say that NB is equal to the friction force maximum which is nine pounds. So we force the system to be an independent motion because we want to calculate the maximum distance d before it moves. When we add forces in y, we have very similar, again, equation, which is Na minus weight equals to zero, so Na is the same 30 pounds. And finally, we take moment respect to A, and the equation is also very similar. However, now this H is not longer than 24 feet, but we have to relate it to theta. The way that I'm going to relate it to theta is using the sine of theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse, and the cosine of theta is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so we take our moment, so it will be negative NB times H, and we say that H is 26 sine of theta plus D half times the weight, right, which is 30, and D half will be equals to 26 divided by 2 is 13 cosine of theta, and that's equals to 0. So from here you see that we can say that sine of theta and B that we already found that is 9, 26 will be equal to 30, 13 cosine of theta. And as you see, we can put that in this set, so we get the tangent of theta will be equal to 30 times 
13 over 9 over 26. From here, I can solve for theta, and theta is 59.96. And since we already know theta, we can find the D is equals to 13.4 feet. So, just comparing those two problems, in this first case, the distance D was given, and they ask us if this, with this configuration, the system could move. And we found that the friction force was less than the maximum, therefore, the bar stays in equilibrium. In this second problem, they ask us what is the maximum distance D in order to reach impending motion. Therefore, we force the friction force to be the maximum, and we solve and found that the distance is 13.4, which of course is bigger than the one from the previous example.